Someone commented, that's not fair. No one can control who they're attracted to. Here's how you don't control, but allow yourself to be attracted to more amazing people instead of fuck boys or fuck girls. This is what you have control over. You can determine your point of attraction, which determines who you're attracted to because it will change your preferences. You only like the people you like because you're not whole in yourself yet. So since you internally don't see yourself as high status, you seek people who you think are higher status than you to make yourself feel better about yourself. It's really about you and not about the other person. Anything you do in life is to feel better or run away from the pain. Correction, anything your mind does. And since you're a slave to your mind, the voice in your head talks to you all day, you do what it says. Only when you realize you are not the voice in your head will you start your path to freedom, to real change. Since you will be a more whole human being, you will attract more whole human beings. Your point of attraction is your vibrational level, which determines your consciousness. Right now, your consciousness is affected by the limiting beliefs that your surroundings have given you since you were really young. Those belief systems made you insecure, which gave you an automatic system of chasing people who don't like you. Once you break that system first by being aware of it, then healing yourself, you will have a new point of attraction that will make you attract more amazing guys and girls. Since the problems are your thoughts, an easy way to release those thoughts is meditation. People usually don't start meditating because they're scared to really get to know themselves. Or they already built such a rigid belief system that they think all they do is right. People who have such a strong ego system and belief system can't grow because they're not open to see who they really are. They are prisoners of their own thoughts and belief systems they created. The way out is literally to sit down and watch the feelings and pull your attention off the thoughts and just stay on the feelings. But don't get involved in the feelings. Step back and watch them. Matter of fact, relax around them. Almost no one does that because your usual tendency is to close up once you don't want to feel something. The crazy thing is that when you close, the feelings stay inside of you. And when you open, they have a chance to release because really they are just trying to release, but you keep them inside of you. Once you relax around them and you let them be the way they are, instead of interfering, they will move. It will be a little or big roller coaster ride. The feelings will move and change, but eventually they will release. There, you just healed a part of yourself. You made yourself more whole. You wanna hear the crazy amazing thing about that? Just because you did that, you have access to more amazing people that you didn't have access before. You can have more amazing relationships now. What all these other dating coaches tell you is how to manipulate your mind and other people's minds. But it doesn't work. Only like attracts like. Only the same vibration attracts the same vibration. You will attract fakers and fuckers if you move from your insecurity. Yo, the truth shouldn't hurt. It should set you free. I'm telling you, what I just said in this whole video is your path to freedom. Now you decide if you want to take it. You gotta walk it yourself. Only do what you're excited to do. Your excitement will always lead you to more of yourself.